From your perspective as an author, what do you want from the reviewer besides a recommendation to accept without revision? As an author, I actually prefer not to get an accept without revision. I would like to have the referee's wisdom. Very often, the most severe referee reports have been the most useful to us, where detailed critiques and advice to us from the referees has greatly improved the quality of the paper that was ultimately published. Likewise, as an editor, we're not after publishing the paper that comes in. That's a, that's a misconception. We're after publishing the best paper after commentary from the referees has been taken into account by the authors. Um, I'd like to see critical and constructive comments because that's an opportunity to improve the scientific quality of the article. Um, though my students may not like to work on the revisions, um, I'm happy to see accept with revisions, whether it's minor or major. So I want to uh, um, um, see uh, improvement of the uh, article by doing such uh, activities. In a sense, I want exactly the same things that I want as an editor. I, I want an objective evaluation of the work. If there are weak points, I want to know what they are. If there are strong points, well, it's nice to hear about that as well. But, uh, you know, the, the peer review process serves a really important purpose of keeping us all honest and making sure that we haven't overlooked things. And I've certainly gotten reviews back that say, hey, you really need to do this other experiment. And we realize, wow, how could we have submitted this without doing that? And it improves the paper. So. I really like a review that wants us to do something to change the paper at least a bit so that it's always moving in a forward direction. I, I think there's never a paper so good that it can't be made better and that's really one of the benefits of the review process even if you have something that reviews very well. When I get the comments from the reviewers back again, I'm looking also as an author for um, how the reviewers see my work. How would they summarize my work? Is, are they getting the major ideas? Um, that I was actually trying to impart when I was writing up my work. So I also like to see a summary of what they think uh, the import of my paper is. What tips do you have for authors when responding to reviews? One of the things that authors really get upset about is reviewers who misunderstand their work or take it out of context. And what I've learned as an author is that when that happens, it's usually because I haven't written my paper clearly enough. So when I get something from a reviewer that seems kind of off the wall to me, I go back and really t try to put myself in the, the reader's place when I go back through the paper and I'm doing the revisions and try to figure out why it is that somebody would have gotten the wrong impression. And almost invariably, I find out that there are areas of the paper that I could have written more clearly. In in response to referees, uh, it's important to address all the comments uh, that the referee has made. It's useful to quote the referee report or referee reports uh, verbatim and go point by point in responding. It will be rare not to take a referee comment into account, and it's also relatively rare to disagree uh, in a fundamental way. Uh, with the referee comments. It does happen, and it's important to alert the editors to when one will not be taking uh, referee comments into account. But it would also be unusual to go through and reject all of the referee comments and refuse to uh, modify the manuscript according to those uh, comments and the wisdom, really, that those uh, referees uh, offered. What are the most common mistakes that authors make? Um, when authors are responding to reviews, I think that possibly um, the most common mistake is for the author to try to give a point-by-point -point response, but what they do is they list the um, reviewer's comment and then they say, we have responded to this in the manuscript. Um, that's just a little bit too general. It's very good for them to then say, we've responded it to, in the man, uh, to this in the manuscript by um, adding the following sentence and then putting a little quote. Um, or we've added an additional paragraph 
and it's found on page number 11. You know, that's perfect. Then the editor can immediately go to that page and can look at it and say, okay, now I see what they've done to respond to this reviewer's comment. The other one is really usually when the person has not received a very friendly review, um, they may sort of try to guess at who the reviewer was and, and try to, uh, try to uh, phrase the review uh, rebuttal in a certain way. And I think that that's not very helpful because most of the time the person's not right about who's reviewing it and, uh, and it just doesn't lead to anything very, very helpful or useful. Um, though not many, uh, one of the common mistakes I see is when the authors misunderstand the reviewer's comments and consequently the responses are not direct to the points but on other trivial things. Apart from this, I want to mention that authors should not think the reviewers as enemies, but rather regard them as con constructive critics. When you feel offended by the comments, I suggest that you do not respond to the editor right away. Take a time for a few days and reply in a scientific and convincing way. I think an editor is going to be more likely to consider an appeal if it's clear that you've done your best possible job in responding to everything. And if you can say, well, these comments are quite easily addressed. These other ones we disagree with. Here are the reasons that we disagree with them. And we've rewritten it to clarify points and to fix the ones that we thought we could fix, but we'd really like to ask that you take another look at it. As an editor, I will often send it back to the objectionable reviewer, <laughs> to the reviewer who's objectionable to the author, and I would say more times than not, once they've rewritten something in understanding that maybe they didn't write it as clearly as they thought the first time around, that the reviewer will change tone completely. What I would like to do as an author is, if I've been given the chance to, um, to uh, uh, make a minor or a major revision, then when I write back to the editor, I'm very careful to say what about the reviewer's remarks may or may not be addressable um, within a time frame that's reasonable for a revision. And then um, I also like, uh, in the case where the paper was rejected, the the um, author always has the possibility of addressing the editor and saying, you know, they think that perhaps that one of the reviews or two of the reviews may have been, um, uh, you know, uh, off the track, that for these particular reasons I would like to rebut those reviews and give a very careful point-by-point -point rebuttal. Any editor will look at such a rebuttal and take it carefully into consideration and see whether perhaps um, the paper should be sent to an editorial advisory board member. What would you recommend if my article is rejected? If we have a manuscript rejected, what we do is we look carefully at the referee comments where the paper or where the manuscript uh, was found to come up short so that we can take those into account in revising that manuscript and eventually, uh, hopefully, uh, putting that work out in a paper elsewhere. What is the value of peer review? I, the only thing I'd like to add, really, from my own perspective, is I really believe in peer review. I always find that my own papers come out much better after they've been through the review process they are really improved by that process. By having other experts in the field read my papers and comment on them and make corrections based on those and add additional experiments based on those always winds up with an improved product. And I can't tell you how many times I get a response back from an author that says, Thank you to the reviewers for making these comments. We feel the manuscript is greatly improved based on these comments. And so I, I think that the, uh, that the review process works for everybody. I'm, I'm a big believer in peer review.